Chip here with the Victory 8 Garden. I got a fantastic new product to show you. This is the Easy Grow Garden. In my hands, I have a fabric raised bed. This is a 3 foot by 3 foot by 11 inches tall raised bed. It weighs about a pound. Hard to believe. It's all about this fabric. It's a proprietary fabric called Aeroflow. And it just provides tons of oxygen to the roots, lets excess moisture drain away. And if you live in a hot environment, I will tell you what, in August when that afternoon sun is baking down, it's cooking anything in a regular container. This material, universities have shown that fabric can reduce the surface temperature by 33 degrees. What you're getting is evaporation. It's evaporating some of that moisture from the inside. And when evaporation happens, it reduces the temperature. So tree farmers will also tell you Fabric, they've grown in fabric for two decades, and they get a much, much better root structure out of a fabric pot than a solid pot. When the root hits the edge, it doesn't wrap around and get root bound. What happens is that end root stops growing, creates a much more finer root growth on the inside, tons of little roots, and these little roots are the ones that actually absorb all the nutrients. So, basically, take it out of the box, put it on a flat surface, your deck, your porch, your patio, your driveway, anywhere that's flat, um, Fill it up with soil. That's it. There is no assembly required. Made in North Carolina. The material of the box. Everything. So there's a proper way to fill it up. You want to see this pretty shape? You want to see all this nice binding around the top looking the best it can? Let me show you how to do it. Soil, soil, soil. It's all about the soil to take advantage of the Aeroflow fabric. Please don't go out in your yard and dig the soil around your house or out of your garden and fill the Easy Grow Garden because it's not going to take advantage of the Aeroflow fabric. You want to go out and buy a good high quality potting soil. Something with a good peat moss in it, a good compost and a good vermiculite or perlite. Something that's going to let the excess moisture out, let the oxygen in and let those plants take advantage of this garden because they, they do perform. Um, if you want to make your own, Mel Bartholomew of the Square Foot Garden has got a great formula. One part vermiculite, one part peat moss, one part compost. Mix them up in proportion, fill your easy grow garden, and you're set. Let me tell you, we've grown a ton of these gardens with tons of different soils. They all do good as long as you're starting with a good quality product that can take advantage of the Aeroflow fabric. Let's plant one up. All right, after you take the Easy Grow Garden out of the bag, you will see the instructions. I'm getting ready to go over these, but they're there for your reference, so use them. All right, today I'm filling up a three by three Easy Grow Garden. Just pick a good level spot, if it's your patio, your porch, your driveway, wherever. If you are putting it on your deck, I do recommend putting some, something underneath it so you're not gonna rot or stain your deck. I like growing mine on pallets. If you have any extra pallets laying around, Plant it on that, you can move them around easy, and it keeps that moisture from hugging on your deck. So what you want to do is pick a nice flat location where it's going to go. If you are growing veggies, like tomatoes, peppers, they need at least six hours of sun. They need that energy, energy production. So please pick a, a good sunny spot, and you will maximize your growth in your easy-grow garden. So lay it out flat, and the first step is to fill up the center circle. That is the patent-pending technology of the easy-grow garden. Once you fill that up, and level it out, then you go fill your corners. All right, the trick I like to do, stand right in the middle of the Easy Grow Garden. Hold up the edges and bring in your bag of soil. I found this way to work the best and the easiest. All right, what you wanna do is take a knife and you wanna cut the bottom of the soil. And what we're doing is filling up this Circle center compartment first. It gives it the structure, keeps it from sagging, it does everything for you. And what you want to do is pull the bag of soil up. And actually the Easy Grow Garden will stand up all by itself once it's got some soil in it. It's going to take about two more bags to fill this center circle up. Go ahead and push it to the edge and give it its shape. I'm going to go ahead and step out now. Pull the soil to the edge, and I'm going for the center circle. Filling that up. After that, we'll fill up the pockets. All right, that looks fantastic. Bag number two, I'm going to do this way. I've already got the bag cut, and I'm just going to pour in right here. Again, I'm going to push to the outside of this circle. I'm still working on this, the form of the circle. 
looks about like another bag of soil and I'll be finished with the circle and then I'll start working on the pockets. With the third bag, I'm gonna go ahead and make a pile in the middle and it's gonna be taller than the edge, but I'm gonna use that excess to fill out corner pockets. All right, center circle, nice and good shape. It's a good circle, it's gonna hold its form. Now, let's fill up the side pockets. So there we go, I'm gonna use the center and just pull towards the edge. Work it down. corner here. Make sure it's good and square and start filling her up. I like lifting on the corner. Helps it settle down in the crevices. You can tuck and pat and rub on the side to make sure you get your good shape. It's a good square shape, just kind of settling that soil in. You don't want to compact it too much. You don't want that soil to be too compressed. You want it to be nice and airy for the roots to be able to grow right through it because they don't grow in the soil, they go around the soil. And if it's too compressed, they can't grow in it. All right, let's go to the third corner here and pull towards. Coming up all the way to the top. It's looking good, looking good. All right, last corner here. One more bag of soil on top, I'll fill it up, and I'll bring everything else to the top, and it's done. Last bag, half of this one's gonna go in. Pretty close, let's just pop it off now. Make sure our shape holds. Soil will settle after a couple seasons, so after every season, you might want to go add some fresh compost to the top to fill it back up to the very top, and you are set. Ready to plant. Easy Grow Garden. Grow your own.